Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to Subscription Box Sunday. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I unbox lots of subscription boxes here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe. And this week is our biggest one yet. I think I have six boxes to unbox that are all behind me. So we have Globe In, My Paper Box, Bath Bevy, a Beauty Bakery Mystery Box, Bella Box, and Paper Gang. So I am super excited to jump in. I have so many boxes this week, which is why I have so many to unbox here um, and some really fun videos coming this week. So if you can't tell, I've got my Subbox Lover merch on. I finally got it in the mail yesterday, so I'm super excited. You'll be seeing me wear different colors of this shirt all week. There is a link down in the description box if you want to get one yourself. Um, I think I'm only going to do one more run of them. Now I will timestamp all of the boxes down below if there's one in particular that you kind of want to go into. Um, so definitely grab a snack, grab a drink, a tea, something, because um, this will be a little bit longer of a video because I do want to make these subscription box Sunday videos a little bit more chatty, um, just so you can get to know me a little bit better. As a side note, I film one day a week. Um, and it's raining right now. We have a flood warning for the next, like, hour. Um, so it's a little bit darker. The videos are going to be a little bit darker this week. I apologize. Um, but with my schedule, that's the way it turned out. Also, the geese outside, at least I think that's what it is, have been honking for, like, hours. I'm really hoping that the camera doesn't pick it up. But if you hear geese honking, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the day that I have to film, so this is the day it's happening. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Paper Gang box. This is a stationary box based out of the UK, but you can get it in most countries around the world. Each month they have a different illustrator design the box and all of the stationery that you get inside. So this month it's this really cute, like, fishy theme. So this is 14 pounds a month in US dollars. It's around 1832. I believe shipping's on top of that. I pay for three months in a row to make it a little bit cheaper, and with the US exchange rate, I think I pay around 20 a box for this box. I'll leave links down below for all of the subscription boxes as well in case you want to subscribe. So we will go ahead and pull the tab, well, and get inside. Okay, wait, that's a little bit harder. I forgot. Okay, I got it. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. I believe that ev for every four boxes, they plant a tree, which is super awesome because obviously paper uses trees. Um, so I love that they are making sure that they are replenishing the environment. All right, my phone started going off again. It's now 11, the flood warning is until two. So such a fun day ahead of me. At least all I have is filming and um, editing and all that kind of stuff so I can stay inside and be cozy. But you do get a pamphlet on top um, this one says Paper Gang. It talks about all the things that you get. This is box number 53 and the illustrators this month are Julia and Lorena. Um, and there's always like an interview with the illustrators and it's a great way to support local or not local, but artists. Um, and also you get unique stuff that you can't really get anywhere else. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. So the first thing is this little notebook. It has the gold, gold foil notes on it. I love the like cream color with the little black dots. I think that's super chic. On camera, it looks a little funny. There's like a lime green inside and then it is just um, like lined paper, but this is really cute to throw in a bag. Um, this is great if I have like video ideas or things to jot down. Um, I love their stationery for that. It even has gold staples to match the gold foil. Their stuff is always like really on point and well executed. So I'm super excited about this notebook. The next thing is like a washi tape roll, but it looks like there are little individual stickers. So as you can see, it's like they're almost stamp shaped. So you, they're just like stickers, but like in a washi tape kind of format. So there's like some fish and some seashells, a crab. I love this little nautical theme. It's perfect for the, the summer and I think this is super cute. You can kind of like put it on your letters or in your notebooks um, in a bullet journal and it just adds a nice little touch. Oh, this is cute. I don't think I've ever gotten a keychain before, but we have this cute little crab keychain. Their products are always made really, really well. I believe they're made in-house, um, but that's a really cute crab keychain. I don't know what I'll use it for because I don't use a ton of keychains, but I do think that it is a really, really cute keychain. Then they always have a little monthly calendar that comes inside. The ink is always a little bit different from the rest of the coloring of the box. They leave it open. So they have just like days and you can write whatever month you want, make it whatever order you want. So you can use this for whatever month. I just don't tend to really use these, um, but they're still really cute. Oh my gosh, wait. It's a little fishy notepad. How cool is that? <gasps> wow, I like, 
I don't know why, but that's not what I would have expected. But I like that, like, it's colorful, but you can still write on it. Like, it's not going to be so distracting from what you write. And I think that's so fun. Oh my gosh, just a little fishy notepad. And then the last thing is an art print. Mine is a little bent, so I'll have to straighten it out. But it just has little fish there. And then at the bottom it says key, St. Peter, Redfish, Blue Bream, and Soul. I think that's really cute. I do love the art prints that you, we get. You know, I could hang it up on my pegboard that I have here. You can frame it. You can do tons of different things with it. So I think that that is super cool and fun. So that's everything that you get the for the paper gang. I believe that was for August. Um, I didn't say that. That was the August paper gang. I think my favorite thing is the notebook, but I think that it's all really, really cute. And I love the theme this month. I feel like I'm one of the, you know how like some of the bigger YouTubers get a ton of PR and do the PR unboxings and they're like pulling the stuff? Um, some of this is sent to me for review by the way. The paper gang I do pay for with my own money. The Vela box I do not. So we'll do that one next. So this one is sent to me for review. I believe this must be the August box. They send me the Vivere bo box which is $30 a month for two candles. You get an eight ounce and a four ounce. They also have a $20 subscription where you get an eight ounce candle or a $10 subscription where you get one four ounce candle. I do have a code down below where you can get, I think it's $5 off of your first box. Alrighty, I love their new eco packaging. I think it's really cool. Oops, <laughs> there we go. And that's what it looks like when you open it up. Um, honey, your soul is golden. Oh, that's really cute. So they always put the candles in little canvas bags which is really cute so we'll go ahead and start with the eight ounce candle i believe the scent of the eight ounce candle is the one that all of the other subscriptions receive the this one is the only one where you get two different scented candles okay i'm like i can't get it out okay i didn't realize this video was gonna be a workout but like i cannot get this out how did they get it in what the heck okay i got it um that was a really tight fit um, I don't know if this candle is bigger or the, sa the satchel or the bag is smaller, um, but this is by Roma Hemp Wick Candles, and this is in the scent Coast, which has um, driftwood, oud, and juniper. So that's what it looks like. I love the like light gold cap. I just love all the candles are super aesthetically pleasing. So both of the candles will be from Roma Luxury Goods. So let me read a little bit about them. They're from Sarasota, Florida. Um, you can save 15% off with the code VALABOX in all caps if you want to order from them. So they're located in Sarasota, Florida. Christina Price founded the brand out of a passion for creating clean alternatives for the products she loves. Their signature lines includes candles, reed diffusers, linen sprays, perfumes, and more. Made to, man made to make your day smell incredible or something like that. I might have loosely paraphrased. <laughs> um, so this one here has fragrance notes like i said the top ones are driftwood oud the middle are juniper lavender and lemon and the base is teakwood tonka and amber so if you've ever wanted something to wisp you away to your dream beach house this fragrance is for you the driftwood delivers your sense a postcard from the sea and is complemented by the freshness of the juniper and the depth of the oud all right let's smell this mmm that smells really good i don't know if it reminds me of like a beach house but it has that that like dark, sexy, natural kind of smell. Now the wick does look a little bit darker than other wicks we've received. It has something on it, so that's definitely interesting. And I do like the way it smells. This will be really nice um, kind of as we move into fall a little bit because it does have that deeper scent um, that I wouldn't necessarily associate with like the beach, but it does smell really good and it's a super pretty candle. So the next candle has the same kind of packaging on it. Um, but this one is in the scent Radiant. So this has top notes of lemongrass, the middle is lemon, and the base is eucalyptus. So its name is representative of both the wonderful glow this candle will give off, as well as its bright beaming scent for one of those good mood kind of days. Ooh, I need, I'm in a like kind of stressy mood right now, so let's uh, calm me down. Whoa, that smells really good. Again, with the more brown colored rather than a white wick, that smells really good. You get the eucalyptus, you get the lemon. It's very um like essential oil smelling which is not a bad thing i actually like the way that that smells so i'm excited about this now this is the scent you would only get if you get the vivere box if you get the other um subscriptions you would just get the first scent they always have a bonus gift and this one is from simply mints and these are little peppermints um this is from new york new york um so Simply Gum likes to tell it how it is with no hidden agendas or ingredients. Their peppermint mints are made with just three simple ingredients, natural peppermint, they're non-GMO, certified, vegan, kosher, and aspartamine free. Cool. I'm kind of excited about this. Now, the, I think these are just mints and not gum. 
I don't know, but these are great to just like throw in your purse. So that's super fun. I love the candles this month. The geese are still at it. Like, I, I don't know what happened, but either they're having fun or something traumatic happened because it's 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 honky out there. <laughs> Um, we have a, I have a lot of geese like right where I live so I see geese all the time They like to be in the road all the time So I'm definitely looking out to make sure but it sounds like they're really close to my apartment Which is weird because I'm not by the water So I don't really know why they're over here, but maybe because of the rain and the storm they, they moved and migrated I'm like it's been really rainy here And I've been loving it. I'm like a stay-at-home homebody type of person and the rain just makes you feel not guilty about staying home It kind of gets you in the mood to like rest and relax and clean and I have been very stressed lately and so the rain is kind of like forcing me to just Breathe and relax and I am loving it. It's been like raining 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 I just I just I don't know. I love the mood of rain. I know a lot of people are all about sun and I don't know why, but I'm just in the mood for rain this year. Maybe because it feels like we're moving into fall. I, I don't know, and I'm so ready for fall. Um, but it's, I don't know, I've been liking it. Do you like rain? Are you in the mood for rain? Let me know. All right, let's go into Bath Bevy next, which is for August. As a side note, before we get into this box, I do post pictures of everything that I receive in subscription boxes on my Instagram, which will be linked down below. I don't know how I'm gonna do it with this one because there's six boxes and I don't wanna post six things in a row. So I may post them throughout the week a little bit. Um, so these may be a little bit delayed as far as how I post them. I haven't really decided how I'm going to do that yet, but they will be there. So Bath Bevy is a bath subscription. It is $38.95 a month plus shipping. This is sent to me for review, but I was paying for this for a long time before she started to send it to me for review. Each month is a different theme. This, I believe, is going to be something tropical, and this is the August box. Shout out to her, too, because she did a really awesome giveaway. It's closed now. It was in my last subscription box, the one before my last subscription box Sunday, where she gave away five bo of the July boxes away to people, um, my subscribers, and I just think that that's so cool and so generous and so awesome, so I really, really love the owner. She's so sweet. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. This month's theme is Aloha Summer Beach Party. It smells coconutty, yummy, tropical. I'm into the vibe that I'm smelling right now, and there are six products inside, which is pretty standard. It also looks like all of the products this month are bad. Bevy products. Sometimes she has other indie brands that she does feature in her box, but this month it's all of her products. And honestly, her products are really good. Okay, I'm pulling out the first thing that's catching my eye, which actually ends up being the first thing on the card, but these are banana popsicle bath salts. That is so fun. Of course, it doesn't really want to focus. Um, so it says made with dead sea salts that include essential minerals such as magnesium, bromide, iodine, potassium, sulfur, calcium, sodium, zinc, and more. Um, it helps soothe and clean, cleanse the skin while relieving tired and sore muscles. Um, it's, this is a custom blend smell. Oh my goodness, I want to smell this. I love banana scented products, even if they smell fake. Ooh, uh, ooh, that smells like banana meets fresh. That smells really good. I'm so excited to use these. Honestly, my muscles have been sore and the bath salts really do help when you have sore muscles or your body's just tired. And honestly, my body is tired, so very excited to use these. The next thing out is one of her bubble jugs and this, or bubble baths, and this is the Summer Beach Party Bubble Bath. Um, I love the little jugs, it's so cute. Um, so it holds nine ounces of bubble bath, um, add as much as you like as your tub fills for tons of fluffy bubbles. The scent is a luscious blend of juicy mandarin, white peach, and tropical mango. Okay, let's give this a sniff. Ooh, got a shock there. Oh, that smells so fruity and good. And it's also like a neon red. I don't wanna spill it. I already made my mistake last week in last week's one of last week's videos. Oh, I love that. That's like, I love fruity, fresh kind of scents, and this is right up my alley, and little jugs are so cute. The next thing out is a lotion, or a body lotion, and this is the Lazy Summer Afternoon Body Lotion. So this scent has a lovely combination of tropical mango, guava, wrapped with green melon and juicy pineapple. Oh, yummy. Gotta smell that. So I love the little pumps on them. You just pull the tab out, and then you just pump it down. I just am gonna put a little bit to see how this smells. I love that there's no color to it. Ooh. Yum. Now that doesn't smell the same as the other scent, but this is still a very fruity, yummy scent. It absorbs quickly, which I appreciate in a body lotion. I don't like to like feel like I have to like walk with my arms and legs out and can't touch anything and just have to walk around with nothing on for a few minutes. So 
Mm, I love the smell of that. I'm loving like the theme and the scents for this box for sure. The next thing out, ooh, it's a blue raspberry lip balm. Blue raspberry is like one of my all time favorites when it comes to like candy like scents. Um, so that's really fun. I don't want to open it yet. Mm, no, I'm going to. Oh, mm, that smells really good. It is blue. I'm not going to obviously put it on my lips since I have lipstick on right now, but that is so fun. And I just, blue raspberry is like my jam. If you have to like pick like your favorite like candy scent, I mean, I know not everybody's into or scent flavor. I know not everybody's into candy, but blue raspberry is like up there for me. What's one of your favorites? Ooh, two bath bombs. Ooh, I'm so excited. So the first one is Tropical Peach Punch Bath Bomb. Let me pull this out. It's this beautiful orange color. You can definitely smell the peach. Um, so it has the aromas of sun-ripened peaches combined with sweet citrus notes to give this bath bomb a famous tropical scent. Add to your full bath. Mmm, that smells so good. I love taking baths and bath bombs. That's one of my main ways that I relax, which I've definitely told you guys before. Let's see this other bath bomb. Ooh, pina colada. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, it's yellow. Yellow makes a lot of sense. For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was gonna be blue. Why would it be blue? Pina colada would be either white or yellow. Oh my goodness, whoa, that really smells like pina colada. So this infuses your bath with the scent of tiny pineapple and creamy coconut milk and it really smells like pina colada, yum. So that's everything that you get in the August box for Bath Bevy. Next month's theme is gonna be autumn vibes, which I'm, I'm ready for the autumn stuff, like throw it at me, the pumpkins, the everything, orange, yellow, leaves, fall, I'm just ready for fall. Fall is my favorite season, so I'm so ready for it. So I'm excited to look at the products for next month. I, woo, this is my excitement, my excited hands. <laughs> All right, next we are gonna go into the Beauty Bakery Mystery Box. I was gonna do this as a separate video, but I just got so many subscription boxes this week because I don't do double uploads. Um, I didn't wanna put this in a separate video because that would push everything out really far. So Beauty Bakery did a mystery box. I believe it was about $50 or I paid like $58.95 for this box. I think I used the coupon code to make it cheaper or something, um, where you get five products inside from Beauty Bakery. It's not a subscription box, it's a one-time thing, so I don't think they have them anymore. Um, I've seen some people unbox them, and some of them were like really good, and some of them weren't, so I'm curious to get inside of mine. I don't do a lot of mystery boxes on my channel, but I don't really own a lot from Beauty Bakery. They're a black-owned brand, so I definitely love to support that, and I wanted to learn more about their, their products. I have one of their palettes, the Proof is in the Put-In palette that I got in the FabFitFun, I believe which is decent. It's not my favorite formula, but I don't hate it. Um, so let's get in. All right, so it talks a little bit about mini moments, which are the little ice cream sandwich um, contour things, and then some of their other famous products. So the first thing that I'm pulling out, I just realized I can't link this box, but I'll link their website at least. Um, this is their Bakeware Concealer Brush. So that is what it looks like. Now, I personally don't really use concealer brushes. What I'll use this for is a packing brush for eyeshadow. Not gonna take it out of the box quite yet because it does have tape and that's too much work for me right now. I'm a little bit lazy, but um, it's a really cute brush. It's like light pink with a little gold there, so not mad about that. Next out, I think this is a this is a liquid liquid metallic lipstick. It's their Lip Whip Smudge Free. Now I'm not uh, the packaging is kind of cool because you just push the box out. I'm not a huge fan of metallic lips. What shade is mine in? So mine is in Rose Pose. So like, I guess a little pink color. It looks really pretty. I just, I feel like metallic lipsticks make you get you that like butthole lip effect, like where you just look wrinkly. I don't know. So we'll see. Oh, smells like sweet cake, which makes sense. Wow, it's really pretty. I wonder, are these eye safe? Does anybody know if these are eye safe? Because honestly, if that doesn't work on the lip, if it's too shimmery for the lip, that would look gorgeous as an eyeshadow. And it felt so smooth. Like I love the application. So formula-wise, I think it's really cool. I just, I'm not a huge metallic lip person. Next out, another lip. This is their Cream Liquid Lipstick. Um, so I'm guessing this one doesn't set as much. Like, that one was a smudge-free. This doesn't say smudge-free, so this is just, like, their cream formula. And this is in Royal Status. So this is their Cream Whip. This looks like, actually, it might be, like, a very similar color. Okay, this one smells like strawberry. The other one smelled like bakery. This one smells like straight up strawberry. Oh, okay. Um, so there's the first swipe. It looks more like a gloss than a cream lipstick and it feels more like one. The pigmentation isn't... Hmm. 
I'll have to try that on my lips. I love the way it smells, but honestly that reads gloss to me and not cream lipstick. And same because like, I, you might not be able to see up close, but like I can see through the gloss to my skin. Can you see that? I don't know, it's pretty. But I, I probably would wear this more as like a gloss than a cream lipstick. Interesting, I, that's not the formula I was expecting, but it is really pretty and I, I really like the smell. Next out, I don't think I saw anybody get this. This is their Sweet Grace Baking Spray. Um, so it's a makeup setting spray. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. It looks like a little like spray that you spray in the kitchen. I will just spray a little, I guess I can spray it on my face right now. Ooh, I sprayed that right on my face. I should have sprayed it out first. Um, that was kind of stupid, but it smells good. The mist was light and even when they spraying it directly on my face, I didn't feel like it was like too much. You know, sometimes if you go, it's just like waterfall makeup is blech. But I actually love the way that that powder comes out. That's actually really great. Okay, interesting. Last but not least, we have this big thing here. So this is their Cake Pop Lippies and their Lollipop Liner. Okay, um, so there's five lipsticks and a liner. I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping to get some sort of a palette, but this is still cool, like either a face palette or an eye palette. Um, but this is still very interesting. So that's what they look like out. I guess I'll go ahead. Let me start with the liner. So this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty packaging. Is this a felt tip? Does it say? I don't know. Yes, it does look like it's a felt tip. It's a smaller felt tip. It's actually pretty. It's bleeding a little bit at the bottom into the fine lines on my hand, but at the top it's not so bad. Um, so actually I'm excited to try that out. I mean, I have so many black like felt tip liquid liners right now, but I'll give it a try. Okay, so these are little mini lipsticks. They're not the full size, so this I'll go ahead and swatch them. All right, so here they are on my hand. Starting here, we have Chocolava. Um, the next one is Peanut Butter Luster. Then the middle one is Skinny Dip. Then Funnel Cake. Then Bastani Ice. They're really pretty. They're really creamy. I mean, I don't tend to gravitate towards, like, I, I prefer liquid like liquid lipsticks, but not like the drying ones. I don't like the matte ones. I like the cream ones, but I'll definitely play around with these. These are really pretty colors. I think this one's probably the most out of my comfort zone because it's so dark, but that's a beautiful vampy color for fall and Halloween. Um, the only thing I'll mention about these is that this is like a paper packaging, and I just feel like that could get gross really fast because when you're doing your makeup, you end up getting foundation and concealer and like things on your hands, and when you touch paper products, you can't just like wipe it off very easily. So that's my only like downside to these, but they're really pretty, and I love the little like color palette going on there. So that's everything that I got in my Beauty Bakery mystery box. Do I feel like it's worth 50 bucks? I don't know. I can see it, but I feel a little underwhelmed because it's a ton of lipsticks and I don't know. I feel like maybe that would have been worth like 30 to 40 dollars worth it for me, but for 50 I'm like, meh. If I had gotten a palette instead of one of the lips, that would have been totally awesome, but not mad about it. I do think that these are fun things that I can play around with. All right, I just want to go wipe off the swatches and that metallic lipstick would not come off. I used a makeup remover wipe, Nothing. I used an oil-based face cleanser, nothing. I had to put the, my Pond's cold cream that I used to remove my makeup and literally scratch it. Rachel had to come over because she has nails and literally had to scrape it off. And now that's what it looks like. So I didn't get in a fight. Well, I got in a fight with the lipstick basically. So eek. All right, the next thing out is the My Paper Box Mini for August. I unboxed the Grand last week. This is the $10 a month one. The Grand is $35, and this comes with three notepads inside. So it looks like this month is dedicated to someone that's close to them um, who is fighting Lyme disease, so that's really cool. Um, so this is to help support people. So the actual card, it turns into a sticker, and it says, Tough times never last, but tough people do. I love that. That's really cool. So an extra bonus sticker this month. The first one um, is a little notepad and they call this a support ticket. And you can say hello, blah, 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 XOXO. Um, so it says don't forget to smile, laugh, be kind, give, enjoy, listen, you've got this. So that's really cute. You can give it to somebody kind of to pep them up and give them a little motivation. I forgot to say you do get to customize with your name which is why all these say Katrina. So this says Katrina, tough times never do, but tough, uh, last, but tough people do. That one's pretty cool. And then the last notepad looks like this. It says Katrina on the top. And then choose joy, explore life, happiness, life is beautiful dream, 
all those fun little things there. So for $10 a month, you get three little notepads. All right, last but not least, we have a Globe Inbox. Now this is the Globe Inbox for July, and this is the Boho Box. You're probably wondering, okay, I haven't seen Globe It on your channel for a while. Well, their shipping is like backed up. I have not gotten my June box yet. Um, I finally got my July box. Um, I think that they hired a new person for their like supply chain and like I, the, the organization of all that kind of stuff. I think they're switching. I think they made the decision to switch their warehouses. Um, and you know, with COVID and everything, it, it's just been hard for them to get the boxes out on time. So I'm thankful to get my July now. I'm wondering where my June box is because that it, that is like a long time ago and I've seen nothing, no ad, none of, and I got add-ons too that I haven't gotten from that. I got add-ons on this, but I'm not gonna show them because it's just like a spice or here or whatever and I've, I've already put that away. So Globe In is $40 a month plus five, uh, $10 shipping, so about $50 a month. But if you sign up for longer subscription periods, you can get it cheaper. I pay annually, um, which does bring it down significantly. And I do have a code down below where you can get $30 off of your first box if you sign up for a three month or longer subscription. So it has to be a longer subscription period if you use that discount code, but you can get $30 off of your first box that way. Now, each month you can pick from a theme. There's usually a couple new themes or you can pick from a selection of themes. If you don't like any of the themes, you can then redeem the amount of money you pay for your subscription box on add-ons. Um, this month I chose the Boho, which was one of the themes the mo this month. I really wanted the Oasis box, but it was sold out like that, so I didn't wasn't able to get it. This subscription is also really cool because you're helping support artisans across the world get fair wages, which is one of the best parts about this subscription. So for this box, you are gonna want a pair of scissors because there's gonna be a lot to get out. This, like I said, is the Boho theme. So the first thing out is this plan planter here. This is their um, Sierra Whitewash Terracotta Planter. Um, and this was handmade in Bangladesh. Now when you do get the notebook, or notebook, when you do get the box, it comes with a pamphlet and you can read all about the artisan. I'm not going to do that today, but you can read about the artisans there. But it's just a really cute planter. It doesn't have any drainage holes, but it does have little feet. As you know, I like plants, so super excited about this. Then the next thing out is this really cool, it's a lacquered coconut bowl in peacock, which is this really pretty green, shimmery, metallic color. And this was handmade in Vietnam. Here they show you storing jewelry with it, but you can store many different things. I might put this in my bathroom. Not sure yet because I have like a greeny blue color in there, but it's a really pretty bowl. So the next thing out is this here, and this is a table runner. I'm not going to take it out of the package yet because this is, I didn't like the table runner. I'm not a fan. It's a little too colorful for my taste. So this was handmade in India, and this is the grassland table runner in midsummer. I might still use it. I just don't know where because now we're moving into fall. Now that, you know, that we're in August moving into September and I'm getting the July box. Now, you know, this type of colorful stuff isn't my style. So I may give this away or sell this. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it's really pretty if this is your style. And there's a, a better picture of it since I didn't take it out of the packaging. And then last but not least is this here. This is the Unity Raffia Trevet or Trevet. I don't know how you, exactly how you say it. And this was made in Uganda. So you can put like a hot pot or anything like that on here. But honestly, I really like the design and I feel like you could like loop a piece of like string in here and hang it up on a wall. Like that would be really, really pretty too if you wanted to do something with that or you could put like the planter on top and just have a really pretty like underlay so there's tons of different things that you could do with this so that's everything that i got in the globe inbox for july have you gotten your boxes yet are yours delayed too i'm really hoping i get my june one soon because like i had some really awesome add-ons that i was excited to share like this box i didn't get a ton of add-ons in and for august i didn't pick a ton either um so i don't know let me know your thoughts down below on that so that's everything for subscription box sunday this week if you've made it this far thank you so much for uh, staying along for the journey and the ride the geese are still here honking away it's still raining um and it's flooding outside apparently uh, my mom just texted me saying there's like pictures around her neighborhood of like people being stuck and yeah i guess it's not very fun right now um good thing i'm inside and don't have any reason to go out i did my i do my grocery shopping during the week because i am i'm not a people person um not sure if that comes across or not but i am very shy not shy but i'm quiet um if you get me talking i'll talk but like in public i like to just I'm very German, get my stuff, get it, get it, get it, get it, go. Like, that's it, I don't wanna chat, I just wanna get on and get a move on. So I usually do it during the week in the evenings because then I don't 
like it's just not as crowded and I just get bothered when it's crowded, especially right now, you know, with COVID and everything, you don't really want to be around a ton of people. So I prefer doing it in the like the evenings during the weeknights when it's not so busy. I'll give you a heads up that tomorrow's video is going to have a giveaway in it. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Um, have a lot of boxy charms and ipsies and really fun boxes that I know you guys love coming up this week. You'll also get to see this shirt in many different colors this week. So definitely stay tuned. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.